So today I received this um, amazing Max and Spencer food box. Um, it's a new food box they um, introduced during coronavirus outbreak. Um, it costs thirty-five pounds, and um, it is a fairly large box, and it's supposed to have all of the essentials that you might need. Um, and uh, today I'm going to unpack this food box. Let's have a look. I have to say it's a fairly large box and um, there's quite a lot of good stuff in it. I've already pre-opened it and had a quick look. So what we have, as soon as you open, is um, um, a really, really um, a well packaged um, uh, food box with lots of items in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick each item and have a quick look. So, here we've got gigantic, well, it says gigantic, they're not so gigantic, but, you know, but um, they're large enough, gigantic buttons, and it looks like it's chocolate. I've actually never um, had these before, but I trust that it's going to be a good one, so it's, uh, it's 15 owner, oh, no, it's, you yeah, know, till, till September 2020 the date so this should be interesting so I'm going to put it here um, yeah I, su I suppose this will be useful um, then we've got um, oh yeah we've got these canned um, meats and um, this one is chunky steak carefully selected tender chunks of British beef in a rich gravy made with stock well, sounds very attractive, and you know what, this could be very useful. I mean, if we are um, experiencing food shortages, or you don't want to go to shops, and you want to make a quick meal, um, I suspect this ca this can be very useful. I mean, you can make rice, you can make potatoes, and you can have this on the side, and I imagine this is very easy to cook. Yeah, it's very, very easy. Just heat it a little, and that's it, and you're, you're good. Okay, well, let's put this in here. So then we've got um okay, well that's another basic um useful snack. Uh peanuts, large peanuts, specially selected for their size and quality. Roasted salted. That could be a, a, a very nice snack. I know some people are allergic to peanuts these days, but you know what? Um if your allergy isn't deadly, um well I don't know if I can say this sort of thing. Obviously a lot of them are quite quite serious. But if you are starvi starving and there's nothing else to eat and you don't want to go to shops, I guess peanuts could be useful. Um, so, what else have we got? Oh, yes, and there's some fish. Uh, red salmon, wild Alaskan. Mm, this is very good. So, this is very good quality. So, we've got uh, some fish. Oh, yeah, but this, you know what? Many shops have been running out of rice, and it's been really difficult to get hold of rice. You go to shops, you queue. I don't know, you know how it is in your countries, but in London at the moment, during this lockdown, <clears throat> you come to a shop and there's a massive, massive queue. People are standing two meters away from each other, and that's just to get in. So they don't allow many people in shops, so people are just standing outside, and it can be long. And you go in, and things like rice and um, basics are, are, are out of stock. I mean, the shelves are empty. So I've been going in for several weeks now, and I couldn't find any rice. So it's really good to have some rice in this food box. And it's a good size. It's one kilo. So I'm going to put it here. Uh, okay, what else? Oh, yes, and we've got this. This is another, oh yeah, this is proper Italian pasta. It says seven minutes, so this should be really nice. So this is Italian pasta, clearly made in Italy. And this is is something else that has been running out of stock in, in a lot of shops. Because people were piling up, stocking up on these um, non-perishable foods. And one of them is obviously pasta, so... It's really good to have it. It's good um, um, of m and to include these in those boxes. Oh yeah, this is very nice. Cream of um, tomato soup with double cream. Mm. This is quite... Uh, this is going to be rich and filling. Uh, that's nice. So, 
Okay, here we are. Some snacks, some candy. So it's Percy Pig. <coughs> Percy Pig. I personally very rarely eat this sort of thing. I don't even know what it is. But it looks like um, a sweet, sugary, chewy candy. So this could be nice. I mean, if you are um, <coughs> having nothing else <coughs> for pudding, you know, this could be a nice treat. What else have we got? Oh, okay, this is quite um, one of the important essentials. English breakfast tea bags. Um, rousingly invigorating, rich and refreshing. This sounds very inviting. And um, it's a nice box. 50 bags. I mean, that should last you at least a month. <coughs> well, I mean, depending on how many cups you, you drink. Um, so, English breakfast tea. Oh, wow, uh, that's a nice thing. This is some um, Scottish specialty. Scottish all butter shortbread fingers. That's really good that they included these, because they last usually a long time. Um, they're very tasty. They're also quite rich and filling. I mean, you can sometimes just have a cup of tea with, with these, and you feel actually full. You feel like you've had a meal. I mean, if you don't want to eat a large meal, these are really... Um, because they've got butter, they've got sugar in them. It's quite a rich snack and a, and a sweet, tasty snack. <coughs> and they've included two of these. So there's two packs. That's nice. So what else? Oh, yes, that's quite handy. Baked beans. That's really good. I mean, obviously baked beans are always useful. You can use them anywhere um, in a rich tomato sauce. Fantastic. Right, let's see. Okay, well, we've got uh, I can see chocolate, and there's several different types. Okay, we've got this very intense dark chocolate, sig single origin Peru, 85% cocoa solids. Well, this is really good quality chocolate, and this is going to be not just a sugary snack, this is going to be fairly good health food because that's quite a high, high content of actual um, chocolate in this bar. Um, so that's that's going to be very useful. Okay, I'm going to put it there. Oh yes, and another milk chocolate. Okay, well this is going to be a sweeter. This is only 46% of chocolate in it. Well, coke, coke, uh, coca solids. But this is, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the high coca content chocolate is very, very bitter. I mean, I don't know if you eat it a lot, but you can't actually eat a lot of it. You take like one um, chipping of it, and that's usually enough. And you just sometimes feel like you want something sweeter, maybe, and this is going to be very useful. So this is milk chocolate, which will work um, with tea, with coffee, and you can have more than one chipping of it, and, and you will feel fairly satisfied. So it's really good. And what else have we got? There's loads of stuff here. I mean, it's amazing how much. Oh, yeah, okay, so we've got chunky corned beef. I don't very often eat this sort of, you know, meat in in a in a tin or in a can, but I guess it will be interesting to try it. Um, and again, if you don't want to go sh to shops, you don't want to have um, um, fresh food in your fridge going off. I mean, this is a good alternative. So I'm going to try this, and um, it's a nice size. So if you don't like it, it's not a huge amount of it. <laughs> so what else? Oh yes, so this looks like soup. Chunky vegetable soup with carrots, potatoes, leeks, green bean, and peas. Mm. Well, this is a very, um, very nice selection of vegetables in it. Um, sounds fantastic. I mean, what could you know? It's fantastic. I mean, if you don't want to make soup from scratch, this could work. Well, this is quite a big selection of different foods. Wow. So, look at this, Italian tomato pasta sauce. Yeah, well, so we've got pasta. It makes sense that there is some really good quality pasta sauce. Perfect for uh, sauces or simply serve with pasta and parmesan. Well, it looks like it's a um, universal tomato sauce which will work with pasta, which we've got here. Oh, what else? Oh, yeah, there's more. 
interesting stuff. Oh yeah, gold decaf. Hmm, interesting. Well, I don't actually drink decaf myself. Uh, and I don't drink that much coffee, so it's not going to be very useful for me. But you know what? I can give it maybe to a friend or neighbor. It's a nice jar of coffee. Those who like decaf coffee will not will be quite happy if you give it to somebody as a as a present. It looks very nice, and um, for me, it's not going to be very useful. But you know, I can give it to somebody as a present. Um, oh yeah, there's more goodies here. Oh yeah, look at this. Um, Arabiata pasta sauce. So it's another tomato pasta sauce. And this one is a classic sauce made with um, sofrito of onions. Oh, some special onions and carrots. Italian tomatoes and red chilies to give a spicy kick. So this is going to be, well we've got a very large um, tomato sauce jar but that one I guess is a plain um, tomato sauce this one has additional spicy touch to it so if you fancy something maybe more spicy more interesting this is gonna work mm, this is nice I like this and you can even mix you know some sauce from here with your spicy one and it will give you some variety <coughs> well I'm very impressed generally speaking so far, is I've got the only item, like a decaf coffee, that I actually don't use, and I'm not gonna use, but I can use it as a present for somebody else, so it should be fine. Okay, I guess this is the last item, and this is toilet paper. You know what, a lot of shops in London have been out of toilet paper for weeks and weeks and weeks, you know, you literally had to be quick to get some, so I guess this is really good touch to include some toilet paper and it's not just any toilet paper it's M&S toilet paper it's aloe vera toilet pa paper three ply my goodness this is luxury toilet paper I rarely buy this kind of expensive paper myself for my bottom but um, it's a nice nice thing to try and it's good that they've included it in this um, large box of essentials well so far so you know it's fantastic look I mean this is like there's so much stuff, you know, it's like a really big trip to shops, like I would have two um, shopping bags filled with these and it it was all delivered to me and I also have to say that, um, that the delivery date was for Saturday but they delivered it early, they delivered it uh, on Wednesday so I received my parcel sooner than I expected which is very nice again because a lot of people are out of these things like toilet paper, they can't get hold of it so it was very nice of M&S, um, some of my seeds here, to deliver it <clears throat> to deliver it sooner. So that was very, very impressive. And I've also ordered another box. I've also ordered um, a box with um, with M&S's um, fresh fruit. Um, and I look forward to seeing what that will look like. I, it was a, a, you know, what I ordered was a large fruit um, box. So I, I really want to see that, and I guess that will arrive on Saturday because it will be fr delivered by a van that's maybe more specialist, so it will be refrigerated maybe on... because this box arrived simply by a conventional courier, and it was very, very nice. I'm really, really impressed. So all this will, will be put to good use. Uh, I'm very sure of it. <laughs> 